Season 2, Episode 4, Madden 25 for your Minnesota Vikings franchise. How you doing, everybody? Eric, I'm in Twins 20 here. We are on the fourth week of the season. Going to take on the Chicago Bears in Soldier Field in Chicago. Before we get into that, we have some business to attend to. Um, as you know, in the last episode, Brian O'Neill, our right tackle, got hurt yet again. And because of this... And the fact he's going to be out for four weeks, I decided it's time to make a change at right tackle. This is the third season in a row he's had an injury. He's become injury prone. While he's great, he's a good tackle. He just is no use to us being hurt all the time. So I went ahead and I explored the trade options to see what we could do to replace him right here, right now. So as you can see, I'm in the trade area. And I'm looking for a right tackle to take over. And at first I thought, I'm going to trade, make a trade with San Diego for Joe Alt. So we're going to, I offered my first round pick. And obviously they're going to decline, you know, just giving up one. So then I decided, well, what if I add some other depth here or some other pieces? Um, so we're going to add... Trying to figure out what I'm going to do here. A third and a couple thirds. They declined that. So then we ended up a first. I think it was two firsts. Two firsts and a third. They still didn't want to do it. So I'm like, okay. That's not going to work. We're going to try somebody else. So we're going to keep looking around the league. Find the best trade option. Then we I can. come across Troy Fatanu with the Steelers. 24 years old. He's already a, a star. And he's got three years left in this deal. And it's a $2.79 million cap hit. So with this trade, we're going to offer a first. We have two firsts. And it's close. So along with the first, we're going to offer one of our third round picks. And it's getting closer. So back to the table. A first and a higher third. Even closer. Not quite there yet. We're going to offer a fifth. Almost there. Take the fifth off, offer a higher fifth. We got two fives, excuse me. And the trade has been accepted. So Troy Fashanu is now a member of the Vikings. He is our starting right guard. And he will leave. Um, he is taking over for Brian O'Neill. When O'Neill is back, um, we will be trading him out of here. We will not be keeping him. I also made another trade. Um, Got to move closer because I can barely see. I uh, decided to trade Miles Gaskin out of here to the Bengals. They needed, um, they needed running back help. And... Um, so I got a fourth round pick next year, 2027, for him. And then I signed free agent halfback Tyler Goodson to a one-year deal. He was younger, um, um, just a, a hair lower overall than him. But I wanted um, to go with what we got now. Chris Brooks is my backup. And then uh, Tyler Goodson will be my, uh, my, third, my third stringer. So that's it. Um, so those are the moves we made. I was thinking about possibly maybe making upgrades elsewhere. I was looking into improving the team, most importantly because of the salary cap issue. And I was looking into another trade possibly. And I actually did get an offer um, after I did the... Um, 
see offers. Uh, the Eagles have a guy I like that I'd like to take a look at. He is on their defense, and I believe he... Right now he's an end, but I would make him a, a defensive tackle. And it's Jalen Carter. Um, he's already an X-Factor. He's got two years left on his deal. He's 24. And um, so if I do get offers, then they offer me... They gave me two offers. They gave me a... F uh, the first one is giving up my 2028 first-round pick. A fourth in 2026 and a seventh in 2026. Um, I like that idea. And then I could get in the second deal, I can offer a 2026 second rounder, a 2026 third rounder, a fifth rounder that year, and a seventh in 2027. That's a little price, a little pricey. I like this one, but I want to offer them. I'm going to do a counter offer. I'm going to see if I can keep the first round pick. And I'm going to give them, I'm going to offer them, if they take it, uh, Harrison Phillips. Because he's the one I'd be replacing. And he's got two years left on his deal. He's 29. But basically, um, Jalen Carter would be replacing him. So let's try that. And it's close. So they're talking. So what if I did that? this give them give them a third and a fifth close okay so let's take the fifth off let's do the second next year might have to give them a first-round pick. Oh, they took it. So Harrison Phillips is out of here, as well as a 2026 third-round pick and a 2027 second-round pick. And I picked up Jalen Carter. So defense just got better. Harrison Phillips had a nasty contract that I gave him. So, yeah, Craig Gohein, I know that. But we already did it. So, so now we'll go to do... We'll go to end... So we have Dallas Turner, Jalen Carter. Let's see, left end is Grenard. Ew. Hang on a second. I can move Jalen Carter to the other side. Make him a bookend. Uh, let's check his ratings, see what his blocking is. Block shedding, 80. Strip ball, bull rush, spin move, balance, penalty, tendency. Huh. He's 265. 263. Carter's 314, so I think he would fit better in the middle. So let's just do what we did before, or what I was planning to do. Power rush him. So Jalen's going to go defensive tackle. So him and the young guy will be DTs. So, yeah, he's my number one guy. Juwan Briggs is my number two. Um, yeah, this defensive line just got really good. So we'll go ahead and uh, take a look at the lineup. So I'm liking what I see there. So, yep, Jalen Carter in the middle there. All 300-plus pounds of him. Jawan Briggs in the middle. Dallas turn on the right end. Grenard on the left end. This defense is stacked. Um, I like our chances now. We, we're we looking really tasty. So I think we're good to go. And in this episode, I will be showcasing the Bears game. Um, I think with the way this 
the game, teams playing. It's been high flying. It's been back and forth. A lot of good high scoring games. A lot of, uh, you know, the one blowout to the Packers, and then the high scoring close affair to the Chiefs. So I think we'll go ahead and showcase this Bears game. So I will get the game ready, and I will see you at Soldier Field. The Monsters of the Midway taking on the Purple People Leaders in the windy city of Chicago. Minnesota Vikings and the Chicago Bears. Week four. Bears are one and two, Vikings undefeated at three and zero. Oh. And we are going to kick the ball off first. Glad you guys are here to watch this game and the playthrough. And boom! And a touchback to start things off. So here comes Caleb Williams, their draft pick from a year ago. Number one overall. And so far this season, 721 yards. Six tutties to six interceptions. Not good. So here we go. We're going to let the defense take care of things. We'll see how this new defense looks with our new weapon. And it's a three and out. So good job. So first down, Minnesota. So let's see how we do here on offense. As J.J. McCarthy under center for the Vikes. And we'll also see our new right tackle in action. Nice block, first carry of the game. 29 rushes for 223 last week against the Chiefs. No touchdowns, unfortunately. That was a good run, though, for second and seven, or second and five, excuse me. Try to stay away from all the uh, mistakes. Great block, first down. All right, let's see how our pass defense, our pass offense does here. Let's see if we can get rid of JJ here. I don't like that one. That was knocked down. Didn't like that. Didn't like that one, third and seven. Let's go to my uh, my usual suspect here on third down. Get one to Hawk. And first down. And speaking of Hawkinson, um, real life, we're on week eight of the NFL. Vikings coming off a loss to the Lions, first time this year. Hawkinson should be back for this uh, game on Thursday night against the, um, the Rams. Should be cleared to go. It's either going to be this week or it'll be next week on Sunday night against the uh, the Colts. That game got flexed. It was a Sunday afternoon game, but they moved it, uh, flexed it to Sunday night. Took the Eagles and I think it was the Jaguars out of Sunday night. That was not a good play there. That was actually a loss. Bears are playing tough. I'll give them credit. Oh, nice block. First down. Just got to play smart. Play smart. We got this. Okay, a three there. Not really good, but there was nothing open. I wanted to go to Addison over there, but too much protection. As Warren with another big gash and a first down. First and goal. Let's see if I can get one to JJ here, get a 
get a Windy City gritty here. And he got it, touchdown. Nice drive to start the game. And we are extra point pending here to take a seven point lead. Kick is up and good. So defense holds on the first drive and then we get the ball and storm down the field. 11 plays, nice job. Will the thrill, Reichert with the kick, boom. It'll be in the landing zone, so it will be returned. Ooh, almost got through there, not good. Got it to the 30. So almost as good as a touchback. Touchbacks are at the 30 now. Okay, so let's see, let's see what the defense can do here on the second time. And they let them store down the field and they get a touchdown, of course. Uh, that's great. That's great. So Caleb Williams rushed one for a touchdown. Maybe we need to upgrade the uh, corners instead of the freaking D-line. Because they're obviously taking it downfield. Even though it was a run. Another nice run for Warren. Bears rush defense is not very good. We're running at will on them. They're going to give it to me. I'm going to keep doing it. I say that and I get one there. Let's go some weak side here. Is that Hawkinson right there? X. Nice catch from Hawk. First down. That was a nice throw. Nice run. First down. Nine rushes for 81 yards. I'm going to go with the tight end corner again. Knocked down. They were covering that one well. It's too close. F flats. Let's see if I get one to Jefferson over there. Nope, sacked. I saw him coming too. And Darasa is hurt. He's going to be okay. Third and 16. Third and 16. I'm going to send Hawk on a streak. Caught it. First and goal. Uh, elbow bertitis. We'll keep him on the bench for now. See if we can get Warren a touchdown here. And we do. Touchdown. All right, here we go. I think that just kicked it in the end zone, or in the, uh, okay, it was a touchback. I thought it was a bad kick for a minute there. All right, first and 10 here. Uh, 
Defense holds. Good job. 4.54 to go in the first half. And we get the ball to start the second half. So if we get some points here to end the first half, we will be sitting very pretty. And a flag, of course. It might be offsides. Offside. Yep. Defense. Defense. We are going to decline that. Because it's a first down. Because he just gashed them. First down. Let's go strong side and see what we get here. Oh, nice run. 112 yards on 12 rushes. Jalen Warren having a game. Let's go with the weak side. Nope, I'm getting out of that. Let's go blast. Yeah, it wasn't pretty. We got, as long as we get positive yardage, I, I'm fine with it. That wasn't pretty, though. I'm going to go back to the Z close. I like this play. Let's see if we get one of the J. Ooh. JJ, go for it. Nope. Addison busts the tackle, gets decked out of bounds. That'll take us a two minute warning, I predict. I think. Yeah. We'll let it run. I'll try to run another play here. Because I can get a few extra seconds off. Fourth and inches. <laughs> Should have went right instead of left. Went behind. If I would have gone behind my blacker, I would have had it. Fourth and inches? Oh, shit. I didn't even. I should actually kick the field goal, but oh well. Get the first down. I wasn't paying attention. I thought it was third, I thought it was third down. So, uh, my bad. That's okay. We're just gonna go ahead and milk this clock. Take what we can, what they're giving us. Second and five, we'll go spacing. Nope, audibling out. First down, go ahead and take a timeout. All right, let's go with full house and HP smack. Or smash, yeah. Halfback smash. Nice run. We'll go ahead and time a call another timeout here. Let too much time off there, but that's my fault. I think we'll be fine here. I'd love to get one to JJ here, but um, might be better go to Addison. Oh, it's picked. Oh. He wasn't looking the right way. Oh, I thought I had that. Uh, JJ. Thankfully, it was in our end zone, and they got stormed down the field if they want a chance. They didn't do shit. All right, so we left points on the field there. Probably should have ran that one, but oh well. 
Third quarter now. Jalen Warren having a hell of a day, 155 yards. God damn it. Boy, they are just flanking Addison. And then for some reason, my. Uh. And they got the field goal, okay. Cool. All right. Another close game here, folks. This one isn't as high scoring as before. Let's see if I get with a JJ here. That safety would come down. Nope. Addison drops it. Come on, Addison. Not earning your paycheck, buddy. Three targets, two interceptions, and a drop. Come on, man. Oh, shit. That was ugly. Third and eight. Might have to go to my uh, TJ Hawkinson special here. Get my first down here. I'm going to flip it. Ugh. I don't like that. But he got it. <laughs> Five catches for 91 yards for the Hawk. Nice run. Gain of five. We'll do another one. Second of five. A third and inches, wow. Thought he had that. Oh, is he okay? I think he'll be all right. Let's go. Give it to Ricard. Ooh, they're, they're ready for it. First down. Nice. Second and one. Good job, first down. Power alert. Alert, alert. That was nothing. Two yards. We'll do double goals. We haven't messed with that one yet. Nope, don't like that one. Immediately getting out of there. And he goes around, touchdown. Nice run. Number two. Guy's got speed. Kick is good, 21 to 10. These are the games I like, these nice closer games, not the blowouts. The blowouts are fun, but I like to keep it somewhat realistic. Will Reichert's kick, boom. And just barely missed the end zone. Oh, ooh. Got back to the 30 on that one. 
All right, D. Bears can't do nothing. So we're in the fourth quarter with 9.05 to go. One more score here, regardless. Should be enough. We're at the three, though, so I've got to be careful. Nice run. And there's an injury. And, of course, it's our fucking running back who's going to the locker room. Of course. Has a good run, then he gets hurt. I was just about to say, I wonder how he's doing for yardage, but then I don't know. But that's okay, because our backup, Chris Brooks, that we promoted, just got a nice run. Bruce Sternum will not be back. Well, he had a great game, so that's okay. So pretty good chance he was he was not going to catch. He's not going to catch Adrian Peterson's record. I'm sure he's over 200 yards, but nowhere near 296. If he would have kept running, he probably would have had it because we were being really heavy on the run. That's first down. Oh, come on, really? First down. I honestly was thinking the quarterback sneak, but I'm like, nah, eh, just give it to the give it to the runner. Decent gain four. Hey Hawk, you wanna get another ball here? Sure do. First down. The Hawk. The Hawkster. Yeah, I got sacked as I'm trying to throw it. I was looking at Addison, too. I don't know what the deal is. They are just really... They're just really focused on him instead of Jefferson. And they should have been paying more attention to Jefferson because of that. <laughs> it's over. Another touchdown in a Windy City greedy for Justin Jefferson. Vikings will improved to 4-0, barring a major comeback by the Bears. With under five minutes to go, it's not looking good for them, though. Boom. Inside the zone again. Nice. All right. And they score. And we recovered it. They got a touchdown. We got the ball back. And it's a minute 27 to go in the game. So they have three timeouts, so we need to keep running. Nice run, first down. Oh, he fumbled, but he went out of bounds. Booth review. What are you talking about? Oh, he was out of bounds. Yeah. Doesn't matter. So the Bears are 
Bears will call a timeout because clock would have kept running, which I don't understand. It was forced out of bounds, but whatever. And that's their last time out. Shit. Trying to run up the middle and the guy was like, I didn't see him there. That's okay. Oh, it's that guy, 65. Jurgens didn't do his job there. Come on, man. I'm going to send Hawkinson to the right. First down. Game's over. And that's going to end the episode here. If you like this episode, hit that like button. Leave a comment if you like. Subscribe to the channel. If you'd like to help out with future projects or upgrade the channel, please visit my Patreon at patreon.com slash mntwins28. Or you can drop something in the old cash app. You do not have to help, but any help is always greatly appreciated. Until next time, peace out. And Skull Vikings. Fight, fight, fight.